we're back with the channel. Uh, we have this beautiful Chevy Silverado we're doing now. This is a 2020 body, the new body style. It's a 2023. And we're gonna do a full audio upgrade on here. It means we're gonna be doing new speakers in the doors, tweeters in the dash, and the factory location. We're gonna do a DSP, an Audison APF, a monoblock amp, and the customer has a prefab box that we're gonna put in for him. Uh, so we're gonna literally take this box out, this compartment out, and we're gonna put in two Audison amplifiers, AP amplifiers, set of Kappas. I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna do them active, but we gotta figure that out as we go along. Kappa 603 CFs with the tweeters in the factory location. Uh, we're gonna do tweeters in the rear doors, but I'm not sure how that's gonna go on. Bought a box already, so that should fit in there. And then we're gonna do some subs. Stay tuned, we're gonna break this down and go for it. So we're in day two of the uh, of the Chevy Silverado 2023. Uh, we got uh, wiring pretty much done. Uh, we still got some wiring to do up front uh, for the uh, radio connection. But uh, we literally ran all the wires. And what we do is we ran spun wires for the tweeters because everything's going to be active. And then we also do a base knob. Um, and basically this is all the wiring for this car. We, we finished up the sound deadening on the back panel. We still got to do the back doors. But this is what the amp rack looks like um all tight and ready to go um we're gonna do apf 8.9 bit and we're gonna do new software on this amp um to tune it with and then we got the one apf 1d uh we're gonna run it at four ohms um it can run at one ohms i prefer to run it at two ohms but in this case he bought woofers and you know we're doing jl woofers which we don't generally do we're gonna run those at four ohms and we're just gonna boost it and tune it based on what we have uh, we use the Stinger distribution block, as you can see here. Uh, we ran all four gauge wire to back because this these two amplifiers aren't the new version. These are actually the um, previous generation, and they have E gauge inputs. So we're going to literally take those wires, this amplifier, run a set of tweeters off it, which is going to be the Infinity Kappas, um, and then we're going to run the mid bass Infinity. So we'll see what those sound like. I haven't done the Kappas before, and we're going to find some coaxes for the rear. The customer changed the rear speakers on us. Uh, we just got to locate some six inch coaxials for the rear doors and put those in but we do our normal uh speaker setup with that as far as baffles and sound ending and we're doing level two sound ending on this on the doors which is very simple nothing complicated uh, and i'll show you the wiring for the front connections at the oem head unit that'll be next and so now we move on to the fuse holder so we put a fuse holder, it's buried right there. It's actually made on a bracket that was made out of aluminum. Um, and now it's supported in there. We went to the factory grommet, everything's loomed, ready to go. Um, and we went into the, here, we actually tapped into the actual connector box on top. So when you're doing a battery connection on any vehicle, you wanna make sure that it's, it's actually mounted to something and it doesn't move just in case there's an accident or something doesn't work right when it's all said and done. You want the customer's car to be safe and that's why you want to mount all your hardware and i'm sure most people realize that but if it doesn't get said then it doesn't get shown so fuse holder made mount it right here solid bracket tapped in on to the rest i got to do some updating on the software because there's a new sub software for that new apf i'm gonna see what that looks like and then i'll show it to you once i'm done and so we're back on the chevy uh it's wrapping up um we put the Infinity coaxials in here. The customer changed that on us, like I told you. We put our, our sound ending and rings on it. Uh, we, we did Infinities, I think there's 603 ca uh, Kappas. And we did the front uh, Kappas in here with sound ending. And then we also put the tweeter up here. And we did the system in full active because this particular this particular amp, the Audison 8.9F, has eight channels of D uh, power and nine channel uh, nine channel being an output. So we did the tweeters at one and two, and then we did the mid base bridge to the doors, three and four and five and six, seven and eight are rear speakers left and right, obviously. And then, and we actually uh, got it all dialed in. Um, we also put in this, uh, the customer brought in a ground shaker box. Uh, we did the connectors on it and we put the two tins in here. And this box sits pretty good in this truck from the standpoints of just the way it looks and sits. 
Um, I was surprised. I mean, for what it is, it's actually a pretty nice looking box. Um, I don't agree with how it's built because of the, the stuff, but it sounds good because it's, it's part MDF and part particle board. But I get the cost and the customer bought it and it actually works. Hopefully it'll stay in good shape in the long term, but time will tell. Can't say anything bad. I can only tell you that it works. Um, and we got the amps in. So we got the um, Audison APF 1D. And then we got the Audison APF 8.9. Uh, we're running the mono out. And this customer didn't elect to get a DRC. He actually wanted to, didn't really want a bass control, but we thought it was, it was prominent. So we actually did a custom mount here for the bass knob. And it sounds really good. All we got to do is put the seat in and then wrap it up. I'll play it for you and you tell me what you think. All right, so let's hear this track. It's good looking, good sounding system. Uh, the only challenge I would tell you is that without the seat in, the air vents in this truck will rattle. So once we put the seat in, the, the vent, the air vents stop rattling. So um, if you're thinking about doing a system in this truck, feel free to contact us. Uh, but honestly, um, these trucks can sound good and uh, did a good DSP, a good setup, sound ending, everything done proper. You can make this, sound, this truck sound amazing based on the equipment you use. Um, we use Infinity. It's not something we generally use. The customer selected to go that route. But everything else we pretty much use. Woofers, uh, amps, and everything else wiring is, is us. And the system turned out really good. So this will take you out. Thank you for uh, watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. If you have any comments of trucks or anything you want to see that we could do, let us know. Peace.